Sometimes kids have soft windpipes. Uh, laryngeal malaysia, and sometimes tracheal malaysia. Mm -hmm. um, are they pretty common? Uh, probably a little bit more common than we think. Um, uh, there are many children who have recurrent episodes of wheezing. Um, that you hear that very, very loud, uh, that, that very, very um, loud, harsh wheeze that sometimes you can hear across the room. Um, and uh, uh, some of those children will actually have uh, some defects in their large airway uh, where the cartilage uh, isn't as rigid as, as uh, it is in most children. Uh, and when you get um, inf uh, viral infections, then sometimes you can actually increase the uh, the pressure in the lungs and, and cause collapse of they, the airway. They sound sick as they are sometimes when they yeah, are little Yeah, sometimes they are, yeah. Those are some of the children also who have that very Do they ever end up with any kind of procedures down the road? Very rarely, but there are certain children who, um, uh, there are certain children who, for example, if they're not growing well, uh, or if they're having a lot of life-threatening uh, episodes of, 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 uh, of apnea uh, that require surgical intervention, and one uh, one type of surgery that can be done is called an aortopexy, which uh, uh, the surgeon uh, will actually uh, lift um, the uh, uh, large artery that sits on top of the airway um, and uh, sew it in a position so that it does not cause a lot of pressure on the airway. Sometimes you look down, you think you're going to find it sometimes in little webs or something too? Um, again, rarely, but, but sometimes we do find uh, uh, certain types of airway lesions that can cause a lot of uh, wheezing and respiratory problems. Just okay. last week we saw somebody who uh, had poorly controlled asthma uh, for the past two so years. So sometimes you can have a tumor or a mass. So, so, so the criteria would be you're not getting good control. Mm -hmm. So you got to look beyond what we normally would say. Uh, it's just a, a kid that just wheezes. Sometimes you have to look down to see if there's an anatomical reason. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, those are those are more of the rare cases, but uh, absolutely. In, in so a good rule is if you can't get the kid controlled with conventional means, that's a little bit of a red flag that we need someone in the area of pulmonary to look at the kid to confirm that you did what you should. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else behind it. Yeah, I think that's a fair assumption. So that's how we have a nice relationship and a good partnership down the road. Yes, absolutely. That's called good practice. Yeah. <laughs>